Welcome to our greenhouse. The greenhouse at Garden County High School is unique in that it is an indoor garden below the surface level of the soil. We do have a supplemental heating system and cooling fans. Our greenhouse is a classroom in which our goals are to learn about how plants grow as well as grow food for our cafeteria salad bar. Because of the uniqueness of our greenhouse, we maintain an environment that is very tropic-like. Because of this, we are able to house some very interesting plants. We have a fig tree, a banana tree, a dragon fruit plant, a collection of succulents, our snake plants bloom, a very large rubber plant, a couple of citrus trees, and our Swiss cheese plant will bloom and bear fruit. The taste of the fruit is best described as similar to a grape high chew with a pepper kick. We also have a pollinator garden and an outdoor classroom beside our greenhouse. We noticed a need for pollinators in our greenhouse and found that our pollinator garden has increased the number of pollinators that we are seeing. We were very excited to see this monarch caterpillar. Our greenhouse has been plagued with rodents in the past. We would plant seeds in our beds and the mice would burrow through the soil and eat our seeds. We used some repelling plants and repelling sprays to deter the mice from our beds. With the assistance of the Greenhouse to Cafeteria grant, we were also able to purchase some grow lights that we used to build a grow box inside our plant science classroom. We start our seeds there and then transplant them to our beds in the greenhouse. We were also able to purchase seedling trays as well. Both of these have greatly increased our success in plant production. The Greenhouse to Cafeteria program has not only taught our students how to make our greenhouse more productive, but it has also provided us with some financial assistance. We noticed that we had some pests in our greenhouse, and through the grant we were able to purchase some ladybugs and whitefly parasites to help combat those. We are constantly working to improve our soil through composting, and with the help of this grant, we also added red wiggler worms to our soil improvement plans. We've also had trouble regulating temperature and humidity. We purchased a temp stick that sends our greenhouse information to our temp stick website. To help control the humidity in the greenhouse and cut back on the amount of fungus, students were required to design a watering system for their beds. Because of these student-led changes, our greenhouse was more successful this last season. Our students were able to provide food for our salad bar through the production in the greenhouse. Their favorites were some zucchini, cucumbers and cherry tomatoes, radishes, and of course some carrots. The Minotaur Greenhouse utilized our grant for growing. Um, we did different microgreen experiments. We were also able to replace and kind of reframe the roof of the greenhouse. We were able to re-secure the windows, provide a um, new heater for the inside that was more accurate at reading temperatures and allowing the plants to um, grow and thrive within the greenhouse, as well as providing some multiple versions of microgreens. We were um, able to get some different seeds started and to um, utilize those microgreens in different ways within the school. Um, we used some in the foods class that they were able to um, do different carbohydrate tests and tests for simple and complex sugars. Um, we also were able to do some recipe deciphering and see how we could use something simple like microgreens to put them into our everyday meals and allow um, our students as well as their families and those in the community to um, add more greens and healthy options into their everyday diets. Students created infomercials about the microgreens that they grew to inform the community about what they could use the microgreens for. Hi, I'm Olivia with your local cilantro. Uh, don't be crazy and try cilantro on your taco. You can use it raw or cooked and it's easy and quick to grow. You can even make an all green smooth smoothie just by buying cilantro from an arts. Cilantro can grow anywhere and receive multiple 
multiple cuttings. Of Hi, my name is Dakota. Growing broccoli with broccoli and kale, you can't fail. You can grow it anywhere, and you can get multiple cuttings. You can cook with it or eat it, it raw. It's used as a quick and easy topping. You can get it from your local garden store. All right, um, this is the chemical injector and PVC pipe that we got along with it um, to put up in our greenhouse that will be used instead of having to come and water everything by hand. Mm -hmm. We purchased materials to build grow beds. Uh, we have two in the elementary and one in the, no, we have two in the high school and one in the elementary and the produce goes to the high school cafeteria. Harvesting our lettuce, which we do every two weeks. This is for our greenhouse and cafe grant. <laughs> 